Right. So uh, that's a new initiative that came out of some leadership training that the technical committee and a few other members of the community attended over the summer this year. In Ann Arbor. It was that's right. excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so a couple of different points that we learned from that training session led us to develop this new goals program. Yep. We basically wanted to make sure that we write down expectations of the community, and the best way to do that, we felt, was this new initiative, right? So we understood that if you agree in a contract to train someone to do something, you'd better say what the expectations are. And so that was the idea behind the goals initially. But talk more about how we're starting to shape them now. Right. So the, the uh, discussion in Ann Arbor was about the training uh, contract that they have, and we wanted to adapt that to our community and focus on the communication aspect. So um, we have a lot of initiatives within the community that are cross-project and things that lots of people want in lots of projects. And so we wanted to uh, come up with a way to agree on what those are and the ones that are actually at a state where they're something that we can implement. Right. And I think that is partially where we are in the process is, okay, let's throw some at the wall, see what sticks. It might be a documentation thing. The API work recently right. was an example of where we could play that back in our heads as a cross-project goal that was achieved. How did we do that? What did we need to write down? And believe me, I'm still writing things down. <laughs> So anyhow, what are some of the other ones that, um, some of the ones we're going through now for this cycle? Yeah, well the, the API example, uh, documentation example is a great one um, because that actually led to the model that, that we think we're gonna use um, where we'll form a team and then that team of guides will help people implement the work in their own projects. And so we have, for example, uh, bootstrap the project, the, the process this time around right. with some changes related to Oslo uh, code. So projects that are using the Oslo Common Libraries, but are using the older incubated copies of code that was uh, actually copied into projects, need to clean that up and adopt the libraries that have been graduated. Yep, that's, so that's a good example. That's the first one that we're going to be doing during Okada. Yep, yep. We're giving it a shot. Um, please do give us input and feedback. I think that's the whole point of trying to talk to people this way about it, is we're early on in the process, we're still cementing the process. Let us know, what do you think? What kind of goals can you envision for cross-community, cross-collaborative projects? Right, and that, right now we're focusing on the process for actually implementing these goals. Right. Um, the, the process for selecting new goals is a little bit vague and undocumented, and that's on purpose because we want to work it from the bottom up and figure out how we would do something like this, and then we'll be taking input from everybody in the community about the other goals that we might have in the future. Yep, so that's the start. The beginning is here, That's right. and we're going to get there by iterating as we go. That's right, and we'll have a session this afternoon uh, yeah. to talk about uh, the process and about the uh, future goal ideas, uh, and then we'll be collecting those at uh, summits and forums and project uh, team gathering events, uh, and through the mailing list and all the usual communication channels.